Nia was having breakfast with her family. Her mother gave her two slices of bread whereas, her brother Nick got one slice of bread. I got two times more slices of bread than Nick. Here, Nia has compared the number of slices of bread. The number of slices she got is two times greater than, number of slices Nick got. Because one multiplied by two is two. This can also be written in the form of division. Comparison of the number of slices of bread is an example of ratio. We can say that, the ratio of, the number of slices Nia got to the number of slices Nick got, is 2 by 1. The ratio is used to compare two or more things by division. Ratio can also be written as 2 colon 1, which is read as 2 to 1. If the length and breadth of a room is 30 meter and 20 meters respectively, what is the ratio of length and breadth? The ratio of length to breadth of the room is 30 divided by 20, which is equal to 3 by 2. Can you find out the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls in this class? The ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls in the class is 3 by 4. Remember, two quantities can be compared only if they are in the same unit. For example, you can find out the ratio of the length and breadth of the room only if, both measurements are in meter or centimeter. If they are not in the same unit the ratio obtained, is wrong. Let's compare more than two quantities using ratio. Let's revisit our first example. Suppose Nia's mother. Sarah got three slices of bread. What is the ratio of number of slices of bread? Nick, Nia and her mother got. The ratio of more than two quantities can be shown simply using colons. Let's take one more example where length, breadth and height of a room is 20 feet, 10 feet and 10 feet respectively. We can easily find out that the ratio of length Breadth and height of the room is 20 is to 10 is to 10.